Today I'm going to teach you some of the Excel basics, the most commonly used Excel formulas that you will use when you're working within your worksheets. First off, let's take a look at some of the very, very basic formulas of Excel. You can generate random numbers in Excel. Let's say we want to generate random numbers between 1 and 500. We can do this with a formula. Note, all formulas in Excel, in Excel start out with an equal sign. The formula we will be using is called ran between. Now we need to specify the values. Like I said earlier, we are going to generate random numbers between 1 and 500. Now I need to close off my formula with another parenthesis. Press the enter key and it generated a random number for me. I can copy this formula down like so. By dragging the lower right hand corner and when I get this black crosshair I can drag down and copy the formula. This has generated random numbers between 1 and 500. The values will change whenever I enter anything in, in the other cells. For example, let's say I type the number 5 right here. Take a note that the values changed. I can lock in these values by selecting them, right clicking, go to copy, right click, paste special, then select values. OK. Note that my formula is no longer in the cell. Here's a very common formula in Excel, the sum function. Here's how it's done. Equals sum. Now you need to specify a range. I'm going to add all these numbers that I just generated. That is my total. I can change the formatting on the cells by right clicking and go to Format Cells. I can use numbers, currencies, accountings, or other special formatting to my text. I can also specify the number of decimal places when I go to Format Cells dialog box. Now let's find the average of these numbers. Once again, I'm going to enter equals average. Then I'm going to select this range. This generated an average for me. Max. Max will allow me to find the largest number between these values. This is quite useful if you have um, if you're dealing with a lot of numbers in an Excel document. Once again, I'm going to select the range. My max number is 364. Median equals median. Once again, I'm going to use the values. Now I'm going to talk about another commonly used formula in Excel, the VLOOKUP function. The VLOOKUP will allow me to automatically have a grade put in here, a letter grade, in this column right here using this grading scale. Note that the scores must be listed in ascending order from the lowest percentage to the highest percentage. Let's get this done. First off, and we're going to use Excel to calculate their scores. This assignment here is equal to this score divided by points possible. Note that points possible is an absolute cell reference. In other words, this value is going to remain the same. So I'm going to lock that in by pressing F4. 
you'll notice that the dollar signs have been added. Press enter. Now I can copy this formula down. I need to change the formatting on this, so I'm going to right click and go to format cells. I'm going to change the cell format to percentage and click OK. That looks much better. Now I need to do the same for assignment number two. Equals this cell reference divided by this cell reference. Once again, press F4 to make that an absolute cell reference. Then I'll drag the formula down, right click, format cells, and choose percentage. Now let's calculate the average between each individual. Here's what we're going to do. Equals average and we will take their score and this score. Let's copy the average value all the way down. This is the average from each of the students. Now let's have the grade be put in using this grading scale down here. Here's the formula we're going to use. Equals V lookup. Okay. The lookup value is this table right here. Make sure you select both columns. Exclude the grading scale title though. Excuse me, allow me to back up. The VLOOKUP value is going to be their average. Select this cell. Choose the table array down here, which is an absolute cell reference. So press F4. Then the column index number is going to be 2, representing the letter grade. and the range lookup is going to be true for approximate match. Let's drag this formula down to see how it works. 79% should be a C. Indeed it is. Our grading scale is working. Great. Let's talk about another commonly used function and slash formula in Excel, the IF function. Let's say we have a list of company bonuses from employees, and their monthly sales are right here. Employees who met the monthly sales threshold of $5,000 or higher will receive a bonus of $2,000. We can use an IF function in Excel to do that. Let's start out a formula. Equals IF logical test which would be this cell right here that it's referencing greater than or equal to 5,000 then they will receive a $2,000 bonus otherwise if false they will receive no bonus now I can drag down this formula and copy it throughout my employees as you can see, the employees that met the threshold of over $5,000 received the bonus. Let's take a look at one more commonly used formula within Excel. In this scenario, I have a list of members and attendees that are coming to a company picnic. I want to figure out how many people will be attending and not attending. Well, I can do that in Excel using the COUNTIF function. To find out how many are attending, I will begin the formula with equals count if. My range is this table array right here, while the criteria I'm looking for is the value of yes. I will close that off. Now I'm going to do the same thing for not attending. I will use equal count if. Once again, my range will be provided here and the criteria I'm looking for this time is no. 
So, it looks like I have 10 people attending while 5 are not. Let's check this. So not attending is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Well, that's the count if formula. You can download this workbook and follow along from techblue.org. You can also check out more Excel basic formulas and commonly used formulas within Excel located inside the ebook which you can download for free.